Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I will talk about development environment. I earlier made videos about .NET Writer and Visual Studio Code and .NET development on Mac. Today I will talk about how to use Parallels to run a virtual machine on your Mac to have Visual Studio, the Windows version, running on the Mac. If you want to buy Parallels, you can use the link in the video description. That will support this channel and help me doing more videos. And you can also become a member of my channel if you want to support the channel. That will give you early access to videos and you'll also get access to all the source code I write when I'm creating videos. Uh, Parallels is a software that makes it possible for you to run other operating systems on your Mac, for example Windows or Linux. Or you can also use for running another Mac as a virtual machine. If you want to test some new stuff, for example. I have done that for running preview versions of um, .NET, for example, and Visual Studio earlier. So if we go to the Perils website, we can see that their headline is Run Windows on Mac. So we can go here and see more. Run Windows on Mac, easy, powerful, and seamless. Yeah, and I agree, it works pretty good. And this video is not sponsored by Parallels. So the cost is $99.99 .99 per year. And during that period, you will get all the updates. But we should not read more on their website. I will show you it in action. So we close this one. And here we have the control center. And here we have my Windows 11 machine, but we will go and create a new one. So we go to new, and then in this create new dialog, we will have an option to get Windows 11 from Microsoft. And that will download the Windows 11 uh, for ARM. Because I run this on a Mac M1 with Apple Silicon, and that means that we need to have the ARM version. That is the only version that works on this machine. But that's a good thing because it's really fast. Actually, Windows works better on this machine than on another Windows laptop that I also have. So we press get Windows 11 from Microsoft and then continue. And now we can click install Windows and it will, will start the installation for us. When we have installed a virtual machine, we can go here to settings and we can configure the machine how much Memory, it will have access to many processors. We have some graphic options, mouse, keyboard, network, input devices, and so on. Right now, I cannot change all of this because I have the machine running. So let's open it. So you can select if you want to have the Windows machine in full screen or as a window, or you can use something called coherence mode. And that means that every application on Windows will be a Mac window. So if I go to view here and press enter coherence, we can see that the window goes away, but instead I will have Visual Studio here as a window, separate window. And if we go down here, to the dock, we can see now I have a Windows icon here or a Windows flag. And if I press that one, I will now get the Windows menu on Mac. Okay, so Visual Studio. What version of Visual Studio should you run? Yeah, you can run the Visual Studio, the ordinary x64 version if you want to, but since I don't know if it's a year ago, they released the Visual Studio for ARM. And that means that it's compiled for ARM and optimized for ARM. And that version is the one that you should run. But if you go and to visualstudio.microsoft.com and start install it, it will detect what platform you have. So this is more or less a full featured Visual Studio. So if you go and create a new project, you can see we have all the project templates exactly as we're running on an x64 machine. We have .NET MAUI app, we have Blazor, 
Yeah. And everything works well. So if there are Windows applications that are not running on ARM, they will be emulated to ARM. So that means that all application works. And that's also the reason that you can run the ordinary version of Visual Studio. So for .NET MAUI developers, I guess most of you watching my channel are .NET MAUI developers because they are my main focus on this channel. You of course wonder how this will work with iOS simulator, the Android emulator. And for iOS simulator, it's exactly like if you have a Windows machine and a connected Mac. You just go here, press that icon and connect your Mac. The only thing that you need to have installed on your Mac for this is Mono or Visual Studio for Mac. As you may know, Visual Studio for Mac will be retired. So if you don't want to install that, you just need to go and install Mono. And then it will install everything else for you, except for Xcode, of course. You need to have the right version of Xcode installed. And for that, I recommend an app called Xcodes. So if you search for Xcodes.app, you will find that application. I can also link that in the video description. So another problem that I faced when I start to work like this is about the Android emulator. Because can I run an Android emulator inside of a virtual machine? No, at least I could not get it working. So what I've done then is that I run the Android emulator on the Mac. If you want to install that, you can do it with CLI, you can do it with Android Studio or with Visual Studio. I did it with Visual Studio because I already had it installed since before. So here we have an Android emulator that we want to connect to. So what you need to do then is you have to connect the ADB, the ADB server to this emulator. And there are a very good step-by-step -step description on that in the Microsoft documentation. So here we have an article about that. It's possible to connect to Android emulator running on Mac from a Windows machine. Yes, it is. There are a few options here. You can use option one, use NC to forward inbound TCP package received external on port 5555. You have another option, options two, use PFCTL or the alternate technique using SSH. I used that one because I felt that that was the easiest. So the only thing you need to do is to kill the ADB, shake that uh, emulator listing on the correct port as you did in the steps up up here. And then you set up this port forwarding and then you connect to the emulator. So if we go here back to Visual Studio, you can now see if I make this window a bit bigger that I have here. Android local devices, Google SDK, Giphone, blah, 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 blah. And that is this emulator that I have on my Mac. So you can press run here and we can connect to the emulator. So if you don't want to use Visual Studio Code or Rider for .NET development on your Mac, this is a really good option. It works really good. Uh, I'm using this right now when I'm developing apps. That is a, my recommendation in that case. And it's not that expensive either around $100 for one year of parallels. I think it's definitely worth it. This is also cheaper than buying Rider, for example. If you already have a Visual Studio license or if you want to use Visual Studio uh, community. So here you have the app running. And this is from a project that I'm working for, for an upcoming uh, uh, video that I will do where I will show you how to build a video feed. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to buy products, please use the link in the video description, subscribe to my channel, like this video, become a member if you want to support the channel a bit extra. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.